So I recently started working on a new project for my client that's using kind of an old code base. So the code is a little bit old and it doesn't really work with the latest version of Node.js. So if you try to run it with the latest version of Node.js on your computer, it just doesn't work. It crashes, displays a bunch of errors and warnings, and it just doesn't work. So it wasn't really worth it for them to update and fix everything to the latest version of Node.js. So they're just keeping it at the old version of Node.js for now. And so in order to work on the project, I basically have to downgrade my Node version to version 10 instead of the current version. So originally I thought, okay, this might be a pain. I'm gonna have to uninstall my current Node.js version and go and install an old version. But this little script called NVM makes that a lot easier. So NVM stands for Node Version Manager. And what it does is you can basically swap out versions of Node.js with one command. So it makes my life a lot more convenient. Whenever I wanna work on this project, I just run an NVM command. And when I wanna switch back, I just run another command. So I'm just gonna kinda show you how to set it up and use it. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to the GitHub of NVM. I'll have the link in the description. And you wanna go down to install and copy this command right here. So I already ran this in my terminal and installed it. But basically what this does is it installs NVM inside the .nvm folder in your home directory. So put all this in there. And then this is basically just a bash script. So it loaded it into my shell config script. So if you're, if you're using bash, that's gonna be .bashrc, zsh, .zshrc. So I'm gonna kinda of show you what it added to my zshrc. So these three lands down here is everything we need to get started. And this is basically every time we run zsh or open a new terminal, it's going to run this script and have NVM working for us. Okay, so that's working correctly. All you need to do, is, if you just installed it, is run zsh again or open a new terminal and it'll start working. Okay, so first things first, I wanna install the old version of Node that I wanted. So I specifically have to use 10.16.3. So if you wanna see every single possible version of Node that you can install, you can do nvm ls-remote, and it'll give you a list of every possible Node version that you can install all the way from the beginning. So the one I specifically want to install is 10.16.3, so I'm just gonna go ahead and type nvm install 10.16.3. And that's gonna install it for you. Okay, that's all installed, so I'm just gonna clear all this. And then, if you wanna see all the versions of Node.js that you have in your computer, you can do nvm ls. So, right here I have version 10.16.3, and then system. So, system is the system-wide installation of Node.js that it did before. Uh, and th this is gonna be the latest version of Node.js, because that's what I have installed in my system. So, if you don't have that, like for example, if you didn't have Node.js installed in your system before NVM, then you can install that with NVM install node. And that'll just install the latest version of node inside NVM. But I don't really need that because I already have it installed system-wide, so I'm just gonna stick with that. So let's see if this works. So I'm gonna type in node-v, and yep, we're now running version 10.16.3. So besides just Node.js, it also, up it also, or downgrades, I guess I should say, NPM as well. So if I run NPM-V, it downgraded to 6.9.0. So it basically downgrades to the, to the most, so it basically downgrades to a compatible version of NPM as well. Okay, and in order to switch different versions of Node, we use, we use use, NVM use, let's say system for the system-wide version and now we're using system. Node-v, and we're back at version 14.2. All right, but whenever I'm switching between versions of Node, I don't always wanna remember, okay, which one was it? 10.16.3, it's a little bit hard to remember, so you can also use aliases inside NVM. So instead of typing out 10.16.3 every time, I'm just going to say NVM alias old to 10.16.3. So if I want to use this version, I just type in old instead of having to remember that. 
So now I can do NVM use old. That works. I'm now using the old version of Node. That's pretty nice. Instead of typing out each number every single time, because that can get difficult to remember, you can just make an alias. Unfortunately, the first version of Node that you install using NVM is also going to become the default. So NVM sets a default version of Node. So if I start up a new terminal and I type Node-V, we're running version 10, which is not what I really want. I only want to use this version of Node for one specific project. So you can set uh, the default as well. So default is just an alias. So NVM alias default to system. So now the default version of Node is going to be the system-wide version. OK. And now whenever I start up a new terminal, I can do Node version, and we're on version 14. And you can see all the aliases and everything you have using NVM ls. So this lists all the, all the versions I have, and then all the aliases as well. So old is going to this, default is this one. If you're also too lazy to remember which version of Node you have for each project, you can make it easier by going to the project that you want. So go into the folder and creating a nvmrc file. So I'm just going to say nvmrc.nvmrc. And then you can just paste the, the version of Node that you want to use for this project in here. And then instead of typing nvm use whatever, then you just type nvm use just that, and it'll automatically switch to the correct version if you have an nvmrc file in there. So that's pretty convenient. You don't have to remember which version node you have for which project. You just set up an nvmrc file and it handles all that for you. So whenever you leave this, obviously you got to switch back to the normal version. Default, nvm use default, and you're back to the default version. I also have this nice little extension here that'll display the current node version over here. So this is just a ZSH theme called Power Level 10K, and it includes the node version out of the box. So that's nice, uh, just to make sure that I don't end up on the wrong version of node that I'm not expecting and something goes wrong. So that's useful to have. And that's basically all there is to do with NVM. But one thing was kind of bugging me a little bit. Let me show you. So it's, it's a little bit slow to start up. So whenever you start up a new terminal or a new ZSH prompt, uh, here, I'll, I'll show you. So I use this theme that kind of speeds up my terminal prompt so I don't have to wait around for it to load. I don't have to wait for the leg. But let me turn this off and show you what happens when I do. So yeah, if you look there, there's like a one second delay between the time that I can open my terminal and the time that I can type in it. So that's not a big deal, but it's a little bit annoying because I like to be able to type in my terminal as soon as I start it up. So I wanted to get rid of this little input leg. But the problem is whenever you start up a new terminal, it has to load this ZSH script every single time you start up a new terminal. So I didn't like that. So I found kind of this hack or way around it so that it only starts up NVM whenever you actually need it. So what you can do is I'm going to comment out this old script. And what this basically does is it aliases NVM, not to the actual program, but whenever you type in NVM, it starts up NVM instead of starting it up whenever you start your terminal. So basically, you're only using NVM on demand. So I'm saving that right now, and I'm going to start up a new terminal. And it starts up way faster, as you can see. But it's not using NVM until I actually type in NVM. So let's say I want to NPM use old. And then it takes a second to start up, because otherwise it would be starting up uh, whenever you start a new terminal. So I like that better. It's a little hack around it, but it works for me. So now, once it's up, you can use NVM like normal. So if you want to use this script, I'm going to link it in the description. I recommend using this just because I don't like the little input leg. But anyway, I'm going to delete this right here and set this back to normal. All right, now when I start up a terminal, it loads instantly. So that's pretty nice. So that's basically all there is to NVM. It's just useful when you have a project that's using an old node version that doesn't really work with the latest one. So you can switch back and forth. All right, so that's all. If you like the video, leave it a like, subscribe, something like that.
All right. Take care. Bye.